The word blood blows my mind because when you read this and you hear this preach, all we talk about is blood. But the word blood, according to the Greek translation, and then Noah Webster picked it up also, the word blood means life. And so if we put these two things together, she had an issue with life. Life itself was too embarrassing. Life, and I know I was going to get some cuts on that. Life itself is so embarrassing that she just couldn't deal with life. And anytime you can't deal with life, what do you do? You shut the door and you go to sleep and say, God, I just hope I wake up dead. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. I don't want to deal with the reality in front of me. I don't want to deal with this reality, so it's easy to kill myself. I don't want to deal with this reality, so it's easy not to deal with folks. I don't want to deal with the reality that I'm going to have to get straightened out and that God needs to do something in my life. So rather than do it, I'll run and uh, how many of y'all are high issues right now? Uh, now understand this, the, 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 uh, the effect of her issue, uh, Brother Jeff, was not just for her life, but it spilled over into other areas of her function. Uh, because of the issue, she had to be separated from family and friends. Now watch this. And because of the issue not being dealt with properly, now we find out she done spent everything she had on the wrong folk. Oh, uh, can I help you again? Uh, you don't want to deal with your low self-esteem. But you go on every date trying to make somebody love you, trying to make somebody appreciate you. You spend all your money. You spend all your goods to try to make something. Y'all ain't saying that here. You go get hat dudes that you really can't afford to make somebody love you. And then you go broke and they still don't love you anyway. You don't know, want like everything that she did don't love you anyway. You don't need everything to make yourself own like you're the perfect person and they still don't love you anyway. When you got an issue, it falls over into every step of your life. Hey, 
battling physical sickness. She's battling spiritual sickness. And the problem is, she has to battle this all by herself. Understand this. You can be in a crowd of people and still be lonely if the issue is not Dealt with. Uh, I know Oprah got some good life courses and everybody trusts what Oprah say, but guess what? Uh, Oprah can't even go get pocket books in some places. Hallelujah. There's an issue that you got to look within yourself and say, I'm tired of being tired with the same old issue. Now, 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 watch. Watch, watch this as, as, as the story unfolds. She hears that Jesus is passing through. Understand this, and I'm, I'm glad about this. Uh, regardless of where you are in life, you have the opportunity to catch Jesus as he's passing through. I think your name's a neighbor. You really want to come out. You better get on the train because it's going to get crowded. Because some folks in a crying house say, God, save me. Some folks are say, I need to be delivered. You better get in while you can get in. Ooh. Now, here's the thing about it, Pastor. Uh, Jesus is coming, and if she hears about it, Jesus would be almost in parallel to if I hear George Clinton is coming to Rock Hill and the people from All Star or, or, or anybody, if they come, I gotta make sure that I can be close enough to see. Well, let me tell you the last concert, I was standing on chairs. <laughs> so what does this mean? Because you're laughing, but you know, what does this mean? This means in order for her to go there, she's gotta face being embarrassed. Right. Oh, y'all ain't saying it to me that. We too embarrassed to pick up our phone and tell somebody what's going on. She's gotta go out there and put all her hands Spectators, naysayers, all oh, y'all ain't saying it to me that. She's got to be willing to go someplace that you folks just ain't going in order to get her healing. And I come to tell you that in order to get it from God, you got to be willing to go some places somebody else ain't willing to go because of me. Watch how prideful we are in 2013. We would rather stay messed up as long as nobody don't hear it. Then get healed so everybody can see it. No, I can't I say. Uh, we rather wrestle with this thing and nobody know. Don't tell nobody what I'm going through. Don't tell nobody what my problem is. Don't tell nobody. We would rather do that than really go to Jesus so everybody can see us get healed. So they can believe that if it can happen for him, it can happen for him. And if it can happen for her, it can happen. But because of faith, you say, wait a minute. Why am I going to be embarrassed when I've been embarrassed for 20 years? Y'all don't want to say that to me today, but I feel the Baptist Pentecostal preacher coming out of my Oh, Lord. For 12 more years, she was embarrassed enough. But on this day, she got tired of being embarrassed about it. And said, let me go ahead and get my healing. You know what I mean? You ready to go get your healing so you don't mind who's looking at you? You go, I got to do this for my sanity. Amen. Mm. Now, watch it now. She goes first to the doctor's. And the doctors cannot prescribe her with the healing. The doctors would be what we would call in the spiritual contents. She went to her pastors and her leaders. But they did not have the remedy for her issue. Right. Uh, watch now. Uh, you can't bypass Jesus to go to significant other folks, spiritual folk even. Uh, some of us have no relationship with Jesus, and that's why the pastor can't give us the answer that we need. Because if the pastor can say anything he wants to say, but it's only with Jesus that wants to do it that he's going to do it in our life. Yeah. 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 You better make sure you got a relationship right with Jesus right. so Jesus can use your leaders to give you the answer of what you need. Because some folks don't want to deal with you, just give you surface stuff. Y'all ain't saying that. And sometimes when your emotion ain't right, you don't want to accept nothing nobody has to say that's deeper than. Oh, oh, Lord. Watch this now. And so when people go to leaders, and, and I can imagine she was a leader for saying that, we go with our problems, not our issues. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, married couples sit down and they want to tell me what the problem is, but not what the issue in them. And so all we can do is heal what's on the surface. Because when you go to the issue, you go beneath the surface. You find out what something mama did a long time ago, what something daddy did, what happened, and you start going. And the deeper you start going, you start seeing why the person is the way they are right now. Because now you're starting to tap into the issue. So when you go for the doctor, I look for the doctor, I say, give me a checkup. This joker who makes me sick, hit me on my knee, looking in my ears and in my mouth and ready to send me out the door. I say, that stuff I know working. I know my knee's working. I can look at my organ. You better do some blood work. You better check my sugar. Check on my heart. Check the 